Flying by the seat of our pants. We're zero hit points. Hit pants. I thought you were going to say hit pants. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flying by the seat of our <laughs> pants. We're zero hit pants. Welcome to Zero Hit Points, everybody. It's Wednesday. Oh man, I got it. August thirty first. <laughs> we apologize for this interruption. Ryan is currently not feeling one hundred percent, and will be putting in the best effort he can. Welcome to Zero Hit Points, everybody. It's Wednesday, August thirty first. As far as I know, I'm Ryan Miller. Oh, good, he's still alive. Matt Amberg. Thank you. 2016 is a hell of a year, man. It's hey, you, do you like anybody? They're gonna die. Yeah, no, and you you just killed me. So <laughs> great work. No, th- I said you're still alive. Yeah, well, like, you know what? I'm so, the first to tell somebody you. Somebody in like that. June was like, "Hey, 2016. At least Gene Wilder is still alive." <laughs> Did somebody really say yeah, that? Yeah, it was. Post- Jeez. It was. It well, was wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Who was that guy? I don't know. I don't want to look at him because it's well, it might be like the ring. I'm going to say he's obviously the one that's been doing this then. It says, he's like, good, How far did we go back on him? Good looking like, out, 2016. About? Maybe Prince is still alive. Can't wait for his duet with David Bowie. This should be oh, great. It's finally going to happen this year. It's been a rough one. It's been a terrible one. I'm just, I am, I am very bummed out by the loss of Gene <laughs> Wilder, I guess is the way to put it. It's, it's, it, you got to laugh. Because he would want you to, he, and he's made you do that for... I'm, I am certain he is up there just giggling his head off right now. <laughs> and he's probably sitting there going, like, talking to, uh, um, to what's his name, uh, Andy Kaufman, about, about, how, how, about how these kind of com- these pieces of comedy work. Right, yeah. I'm sure Andy Kaufman has a really good uh, bit worked out at this point about how he died. Like, he just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, Good old Jim That's Carrey. one way to start the podcast. Yeah, Jim Carrey. I never watched that movie. Did he? Did he do oh, it justice? He actually does do a great. He 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 truly did do a fantastic Andy Kaufman. Like he really became that character. I remember that was kind of supposed to be like his kind of his serious movie breakout role. It was one of them, yeah. And I feel like it was almost the last one, like before he kind of disappeared for a while or it, something. I don't. I feel happened like, to Jim Carrey. I feel like the movie. Just didn't do very well. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember it. I don't remember it going gangbusters. I remember that was at that point where it was like after Cable Guy, and it was it was where where people were like, okay, we we still just want Ace Ventura. We want funny Jim Carrey. Stop it. <laughs> stop. But okay. Well. Stop being so. Stop trying to be talented in dramatic <laughs> arts. What about this though? Maybe, like, should have the Andy Kaufman movie done well? Like, is it, was it more appropriate? I, I, the I, level of business that it did or I, the, that people didn't get it? I think, I think you, I think you're probably onto something. Hmm. It, it was Milo, Milos Forman's, uh, <laughs> way of, of, of saying, Hey, we don't care either. I just love that people gave him Andy Kaufman speaking now of the real person gave him, the opportunity to do stuff like that. Somebody somewhere got it. When, if, if he pitched bits at all, I guess, or well, did and, they just and the put movie, him on stage? No, the movie talks about it. Like it talks oh, about okay. how he get where he got, like where, how, where he, how he, he kind of got to where he was. And, and it, and it, 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 it does do a good point of, uh, of always, uh, Paul Giamatti, always amazing. It does a good job of, of showing, that Kaufman couldn't have done all of that on his own without somebody that was that number one got it, but also got the business side and was able to get him booked, was able I to sh- play I with him. That movie. And uh and and yeah, and and uh and Paul Giamatti plays that character and, and oh, okay. That uh, is Bob the quintessential Luda. Paul Giamatti character though, isn't it? Like he's the manager. He's the he, he's always that dude. He is if you want to see him it, in that exact role, but it just leaps and bounds beyond so many other things that he's done is a movie called Win Win. 
I'm not aware of this movie. Oh my gosh, uh, fantastic film! He plays a uh, um, a high school wrestling teacher, and uh, and he and he's like, yep, there it is, coach, it, teacher, it, manager. Yep, that's. But he, it's fantastic. It's it's funny. It's heartfelt. It's it's just a great movie. He's a cool guy. I love uh, Paul Giamatti is one actor that uh, if if uh, he's in the movie, I'm gonna see it. That's fair. Hey, why are we talking about anything we want at this point? Who cares about anything we want? <laughs> By the way, this the the sole. Let's just get out of the way. The sole purpose, maybe, of this podcast. Yeah, we're already is, seven minutes in, and it's too long. <laughs> we should have mentioned this like four minutes ago. No, that's fine. We can go back to Andy Kaufman. I'm that's, that's, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. This is what people don't get. The podcast is actually becoming the only time during the week I get to talk to you now. So it's true. We it's, haven't. <laughs> like, what are video games anymore? Don't know. Um, but we're doing this one because we're going to PAX this weekend. You've probably heard if you've been anywhere near the site or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. And if you haven't, then we're we don't know how you're listening to this episode. Like, why was this the that's one you picked? True. Out? It's it's a tr- it's a trick. It's a trick. Dirty, <laughs> dirty, filthy. It's an illusion. Oh, thank you. That's a trick. Is something a whore does for money? Mm. Arrested Development, two thousand eleven. I don't know when that quote came from. So. <laughs> this we haven't mentioned PAX nearly enough though was the funny part like I feel like after we did last week's show and I was like we should talk about how that's going to happen I feel like last month we were like a month early on it anyways we're going to PAX there's a new page on the site mm-hmm. deal- detailing what we have planned Good job, this Ryan. podcast is going to be thank you uh, if, a very short one where we say we're going to PAX we're going to do a podcast every day during PAX mm-hmm. so we're going to keep this one short and probably just not do one next Tuesday at all because you will have just had four about whatever we would talk about on that day anyways. And both of us would just be flying home and neither of us would be prepared yeah. for that kind of commitment. It's too loud. The pocket can't record it on the plane. No. And, and I mean, and on top of that, that whole like internet to internet thing on the plane, we should try that. Boy. <laughs> just realize this. <laughs> just to make us feel better about this setup, I guess. Probably. Yeah, it might be good. We should give that a go. It would be funny too, because <laughs> like if we did it at the right time, there'd be like a bunch of business class people on the plane and then us have, <laughs> Having a conversation on the phone, like over FaceTime. I can't wait to see who sits next to me because they're going to be the guest automatically. <laughs> How did you enjoy PAX? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I I work in the medical industry. But put uh, your pants back on. Sir. Why? Did, I don't know why I went there. So because <laughs> we're going to PAX and we're going to PAX. When you go to PAX, you, you don't wear pants. Zero pants. Points. Zero points in pants. Real pants theme for the show. That's the beauty of being able to talk about whatever you want now during this podcast. It's cool. Where we've done what we set out to do already. Yeah. But uh, check out the website, yes, for pack okay. stuff, yes. And right. also, the we will have t-shirts, we will have stickers, we will oh. have buttons. I haven't we, tweeted out a picture of the stickers yet. We will or also... the shirts, for that matter, because I don't have them. Well, that's good. Well, ho- <laughs> okay, actually, I should say this. In theory, we'll have shirts... I know. I gotta go talk to him. We don't know literally. what's going on with that. Right after this, and I gotta hurry because I'm I'm I doped myself up for the show, so I'd feel good. You, it's it's because it's freaking dope. No, yeah. and also the 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 thing to keep in mind here with Pax, uh, if you would like to meet us or hang out, or if you know us and you want to hang out. Bummer. Why? Uh, <laughs> Seven o'clock at the Pine Box. It's up on Capitol Hill. Easy to find and eat and charcuterie. Char what now? Charcuterie. Yeah. That's... Meats and cheeses, dude. Oh. Yeah, I just say it French and smarmy like. A Frenchman. Hey, guess what? It's ten minutes. <laughs> Hold on. I had more. Oh. God, what are you doing? And the podcast themselves will be streamed live over Twitch. Mm. And depending on what happens, mm. there there will be some gamery after that. Oh right, as well. Yeah, streamed live. maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll figure out a way to finally get Mike Micah into our hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Said everybody at PAX wink, wink. ever. <laughs> I want to get. Yeah. At, what are you tentatively putting I Darb on the schedule? Is I think, I, think I don't think it's tentative. I think we'll play I Darb because we had a lot of fun with that last Ooh, year. Oh man, I should. I'm gonna get the DLC pack for that actually. Built the, pack. With Masters of the Universe and something else. I definitely Walking, Walking Dead maybe want to master the universe. All right. So yeah, is there anything else you wanted to mention to the lovely folks at home? Anything else you want to talk? Let's. Did you watch any movies this week? Just so I know what I'm missing, maybe. I did they, watch. Don't a explain movie. 
Yeah, because w- we're never going to get to talk about the ones we watched. So we no, I watched well. Keanu finally. How was it? Oh, it's funny. Good or bad? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, all right. I haven't heard anything about it since it came out. I'm it's super good. curious about it because it looks amazing. It's it's funny, uh, it, but it is not just a straightforward like direct comedy. Like it's actually an action comedy. Expected. That sounds no. That sounds about right. Okay. So, I knew there would be something about it. I knew it just wouldn't be like funny Keen Peel skits. No, and and it pasted and it, together for a couple hours. And and I think the thing that I liked about it was that it really like there are one or two bits in there where you're like you can see the Key and Peel from the show, but the rest of the comedy is like it is it is clearly them, but it's not that. You know, long it's, form it's like yeah it's not, it's a, the, the bits the, yeah the, the sketches are obviously not long form, and, and yeah. this one yeah, you know, there are definitely some jokes that that don't hit at all like they're just cool it's just ugh. <laughs> and there are some that were just like just laugh like knee slappers you gotta put okay. them in there Good knee, knee, knee slapper <laughs> all right okay cool well, uh, did you watch anything because now i'm curious um i watched jungle book again it's uh, I saw it in the drive-in originally. Right. It's it's ten times better. Have you seen that yet? I have not. Yeah, it's it's. I had no idea how amazing the graphics graphics. A fabulous way to put it. Mm-hmm. It's we should start reviewing movies on video game terms. Honestly. Yes. What, what could be better? It looks amazing. The special effects are really really good, and I just had no idea because I watched it in drive-in. But also a good movie overall. Anyways, um, uh, the freaking one though. Watch this if you have not watched this. Have you ever seen Once? Once. It's Irish dude. I want to say John Carney. Uh, mm-hmm. It's a bunch of songs by Glenn Hansard as well. Or nope. however you actually say his name. No? It's that's like... S- well, that's one of my top movies of all time. Like that's maybe so my top uh, romantic... Because com- I don't get into those as much. But, you know... Well, it, It's okay. really good, man. It's going to be hard for any movie to... And you'll laugh. You'll make fun of it, and you won't. You'll be like, "You're not serious." I'm only partially, but Fever Pitch, love that one. Hey, no, this okay. So that's fine. This is, I would imagine, a zillion times, but so good. Anyways, that's not even the one I want to talk about. The, yeah. He did a new movie okay. called Sing Street. I've heard of this actually. Also, freaking fantastic. All right. So good. So are they? Like, mu- are they musicals? Are they both musicals? In freaking love. Um. Yeah, they, they, they like, both are. I mean, that's kind of like John rock operas. No, 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 no. This they they are, I guess, musicals more than their rock operas. But that's kind of John Carney's thing. I'm realizing and hoping now I'm getting his name right. But he, he the way he works the songs into the narrative is as fantastic as the songs themselves. And this one, particularly Sing Street, is about this group of kids going to a Catholic school that start a band, um, and you know, through the bands of that era. Mm-hmm. And to get into stuff and make a video, yeah. it's so freaking good, man. Seriously, like I'll yeah. check that. I check that out. Okay. Sounds like that might be a good uh, double feature with the commitments, which is another band-related movie that I love. I should, I should, I need to watch the commitments. It's been a long time since I've seen that thing you do too. I love that, I, or not I, that thing you do too. There's no sequel, that, but the which I also probably would have enjoyed, but I really love that thing you do. Mm. Absolutely adore that movie. I remember also, Airheads. Like, Airheads? I know I've seen it. I know I saw it in the theater when I was in high school, but I can't mm-hmm. tell you one thing. About, I mean, I know Brendan Fraser's in it. Brendan Fraser, Steve Buscemi, Adam Sandler, Michael McKeon, uh, Chris Farley, Ernie Hudson, Lemmy pops yeah. up in there once. Uh, well, this will be great. John, Just bring John these Nelson's the packs. in it. We'll, we'll watch them all in packs. Oh, right? Actually, I got to talk to you about. I got to talk to you about something related to that. Actually, okay. offline right. about Judd Hirsch. Yeah, no, Judd okay. Nelson. Oh wait, that was actually the other. I also watched Independence Day, the first one. Forgot mm. about it. Do you like Judd Hirsch? I'm glad that came back up. He's, <laughs> he's like Kevin Bacon, in that I like to see him in movies. Six Degrees of Judd Hirsch. Yeah. It's a way harder game. Independence Day is a good movie too. It is. My dog farted.